What's up family, my name is Trail and today we have new states being approved for the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of November. I also wanna share with you the remaining states that still need to pay out for the month of October as well. Now, in addition to that, we have a couple of states that are paying out stimulus checks sometime next month in November. One state is getting up to $700 and the other state is getting a $300 payment. And lastly, I do have some new information regarding the California PEBT 3.0 program in which this has been approved and new cards are being mailed out right now. But I will share with you the rest of the details in just a moment. But before we get started, you guys already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Okay guys, let's start this video off with announcing the remaining states for the October emergency allotments. We still have a few more states that need to distribute, but I will go over all of them in case you missed the last video. We finally have all of the states that are participating and they all have been approved at this time. And here they are. Alabama, October the 31st. California, November the 26th. Colorado, October the 6th through the 12th. Connecticut, October the 15th through the 16th. Delaware, October the 26th. DC, approved on the regular issuance date. Guam, October the 21st. Hawaii, November the 14th. Illinois, October the 21st through the 29th. Kansas, November the 21st through the 30th. Louisiana, October the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and the 29th. Maine, October the 7th. Maryland, October the 4th through the 23rd. Massachusetts, November the 2nd. Michigan, October the 15th through the 24th. Minnesota, November the 8th through the 30th. New Hampshire, October the 4th and the 21st, and on November the 18th. New Jersey, October the 1st through the 5th, New Mexico, October the 1st through the 31st, New York, October the 14th through the 27th, North Carolina, October the 22nd through the 31st, Ohio, October the 27th, Oklahoma, October the 10th through the 15th, Oregon, October the 10th, 28th, and November the 1st, Pennsylvania, October the 18th through the 29th, Rhode Island, October the 3rd, South Carolina, October the 1st through the 19th, Texas, October the 4th through the 10th, Utah, October the 29th, Vermont, November the 14th, Virginia, October the 16th, Virgin Islands, October the 15th, Washington, October the 1st through the 20th, West Virginia, October the 4th, and then a final run on November the 9th, and Wisconsin, October the 15th. And those are the 35 states that we have for the month of October. The remaining states have already ended the emergency allotments, which these here on the screen are those states that have ended the program. I know a lot of you have been asking me about Georgia, and as you can see, they have ended the emergency allotment benefits for the state of Georgia. And then lastly, we have new states approved for the month of November. We now have a total of 12 states that have been approved so far, and here they are. Colorado, November the 5th through the 11th. D.C. approved on the regular issuance date. Kansas, December the 21st through the 30th. Maryland, November the 4th through the 23rd. New Hampshire, November the 3rd and the 18th. New Jersey, November the 1st through the 5th. New Mexico, November the 1st through the 30th. Oklahoma, November the 10th through the 15th. Oregon, November the 10th, the 29th, and December the 1st. Rhode Island, November the 3rd. West Virginia, November the 2nd, and then a final run on December the 14th. And Wisconsin, November the 19th. And those are all the states that we have for the month of October and November. We should receive the remaining states for the month of November by the end of this week. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Now, before we go any further, I want to remind you guys about getting the Amazon Prime membership for free for 30 days. It's almost Black Friday and Christmas season and the perfect way to get all of your shopping done with free shipping. You can also enjoy the unlimited free movies, TV shows, music streaming, books and magazines, or if you already have the membership, make sure that you are getting the discounted rate. And yes, it is true. If you receive any type of government assistance, such as EBT program, the WIC program, SNAP program, TANF program, or anything like that, you are eligible to get a discounted rate of just $6.99 per month, which is half of the normal cost. But anyways, guys, hey, if you are interested, those links will be down below. Starting off with the first state that we have giving out stimulus checks next month for November, that is the state of Delaware. Yes, according to their 2022 Delaware Relief Rebate Program, 
Yes, that is exactly what has been approved in their House Bill 360. Now, this particular legislation was created uh, as a relief, which a one-time direct payment of $300 per adult resident is going to be issued in November. Now, this particular relief is intended to promote the general welfare of Delawareans emerging from the COVID pandemic and facing higher prices at the grocery stores and at the gas pumps. As of May of 2022, the Delaware Department of Finance began issuing one-time payments of $300 to individuals who had already filed their 2020 Delaware resident personal income taxes by the due date throughout the summer and early fall over 780,000 payments were made to adults, residents who timely filed their 2021 tax returns and to other individuals age 18 and older identified via this state agency data. Now, beginning November the 1st of this year, which is in a couple of days, adult Delawareans who were over the age of 18 years old and living in the state on December the 31st of last year and who have not previously received a 2022 relief rebate may apply apply for this online. Applicants are advised that the period to apply is like 30 days and it closes on November the 30th. Applicants must have a valid social security number, a Delaware residential mailing address, either an active driver's license that was issued by the Delaware Department of Motor Vehicles on or before December the 31st of last year, or an active identification card that was issued by the Delaware Department of Motor Vehicles on or before December the 31st as well. And all also, they must meet other verification standards. No qualifying applicant will receive a relief rebate until after the application period has closed and all applications have been reviewed. Successful completion of the application does not guarantee a payment of $300 of the relief rebate for additional requirements for payments to applicants. See the rebate requirements that are listed down below on this particular web page. And as you can see guys in the green section, this is also where you can click on this to find out the status of your rebate for the state of Delaware and whether or not you are going to be approved to receive this one-time $300 payment. So again, guys, just for that, I will include a link to this particular article down below in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. Read over the description, the eligibility, as well as click on this green button to find out your status in regards to your application that you're going to fill out sometime next month. Again, that link will be down below. And moving on to the second state that we have on the list, and that is the state of South Carolina. Uh, this particular article talks about residents are going to be getting up to $700 by December. So yes, guys, these could come anywhere between now and throughout the December months. Now, South Carolina is rolling out tax rebates worth up to $700 following a nearly $1 billion budget surplus. And to be eligible, South Carolina taxpayers must file their state income taxes for 2021 by October the 17th, which was a few days ago. Now, the South Carolina Department of Revenue will will then determine the amount of taxpayer is eligible to receive and dole out payments via direct deposit or a paper check in the mail before this year, December the 31st. Now, again, they are saying that they are on schedule to issue these particular rebates by the end of this year. According to the director, Hartley Powell, she said that you must file your 2021 South Carolina individual income tax return by October the 17th to be eligible. So even if you missed the due date in April, file your return with us by October the 17th. Now, I know that particular date has already passed, but just in case you actually met that deadline, guys, hey, you are eligible to receive up to $700 per adult individual taxpayer. Again, individual taxpayers who are eligible can be full-time residents, part-year residents, or non-residents, and they can receive the rebate as long as they paid South Carolina income taxes. And right now, $700 is the maximum amount a taxpayer can receive 
from this particular rebate, but they would know more in regards to the amount of money that they are going to distribute per taxpayer closer to the end of this month, guys, October. So again, guys, the rebate has already been approved by the state po policymakers back in June when they finished the state budget. Additional information on this particular rebate is online, guys, and you can also check out the website, which is the South Carolina website. Again, I will include a link to this article down below in the description so that you can check it out for yourself and then look right here guys you can see that you can click on this particular link right here and it will take you directly to the South Carolina Department of Revenue website in which they are going to have all the information in regards to this up to $700 payment on this particular website guys so I hope that information is helpful to you but moving on guys we do have some information for those of you that live in the state of California in which we do need to talk about the summer P PBT program as well as the PBT 3.0 program. And that is because first off in regards to the summer uh, 2022 PBT program that has been approved, but they are still waiting to get more information in regards to this. So we don't know exactly when they're going to be issuing these particular payments to those individuals that live in the state of California, but also in regards to the PBT 3.0 program. Yes, that has been approved and we are getting information that they are actually sending out new 3.0 cards right now to those eligible children in the state of California. And I want to read over to you this particular information that is in reference to this so that you will know more information in regards to these new 3.0 cards that are being issued out as of now. Yes, guys, it says that California PEBT has been approved for the 2021 through 2022 school year, plus the summer PEBT benefits as well, referred to as the PEBT 3.0. Now, the PEBT 3.0 program includes benefit months, August of 2021 through May of 2022 for the 2021 through 2022 school year, and the benefit months of June through August of 2022 which are for the summer PBT benefits. And yes, the program will be available to both school-aged children and young children under six years old. Now again, school-aged children, TK through grade 12, are eligible for the PBT 3.0 benefits if they were, number one, eligible for free reduced price meals during the 2021 through 2022 school year or for the summer of 2022. In addition, enrolled in a school participation participating in the National School Lunch Program or the School Breakfast Program or the Provision School during the 2021 through 2022 school year and did not attend school in person because of COVID-19 during the particular school year. This includes students who were enrolled in independent study, California's version of virtual learning, as well as students who had five or more excused absences in any given month. In addition, students that are considered ineligible for school year PBT benefits because they intended school in person may be eligible to get summer PBT benefits if, as of May of 2022, they were eligible for free reduced price meals and enrolled in a school participating in the National School Lunch or the Breakfast Program or a Provision School. Now, again, guys, they are saying that young children under the age of six years old are eligible for the PBT 3.0 benefits if they were under the age of six as of August the 1st of last year and they were part of a household getting CalFresh benefits between August and August. August of this year. So again, guys, that is the eligibility requirements for the PBT 3.0 program, which includes the summer PBT benefits as well. So I hope you guys are eligible for that. But again, guys, like I said, they are mailing those EBT cards out right now. As it says right here, that school age children will start getting the PBT 3.0 cards in the mail November of this year, which is next month, guys, for benefit months, August through December of last year. The cards will then be reloaded in December of this year for benefit months, January through August of this year for existing card holders. Now, new PBT 3.0 cards will be mailed out to any school age children that are only eligible for benefit months, January through August of this year in December of this year, guys. 
class. I know this is kind of confusing, but don't worry. I will include a link to this article down below as well so that you can read all of it out because it is some very tiny print that I'm trying to read to you guys. But anyways, the PBT 3.0 cards will be mailed in alphabetical order based on the first name. So depending on that particular information, that pretty much decides when you can actually receive this particular card in the mail. Again, guys, that is the information that we have so far on the California PBT 3.0 program in which these cards are being mailed out. And I believe that I read some reports that some individuals have already received their new 3.0 cards as well. So again, guys, you want to be mindful and make sure that you pay attention to what is coming in the mail and don't necessarily throw away anything if you think that it is spam. Be sure to open it up and check it out for yourselves, guys. But anyways, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. But anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But don't forget to take Take advantage of the offers mentioned down below in the description, such as the free Amazon Prime membership for six months, which is perfect because of Black Friday and Christmas, and those two are around the corner, as well as ways for you can receive some free cash, as well as some free money and some free stocks. But anyways, guys, hey, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel, as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.